Hey everybody, welcome back to Sports Blitz Live. Luke Robinson here and I've got Stacy Jones, the owner of Cecil's Restaurant. It's been a very sad, what, about 10 days, Stacy, somewhere in there. It's been an incredibly sad time for everybody in the Alexander City area and everybody that's ever been to Alexander City. Of course you know about Cecil's Restaurant. It's one of the most iconic restaurants probably in the state of Alabama. And Stacy, we're here with, with what remains right now. They are tearing down the backside and they're working their way this way. And, and what are you feeling right now? I don't even know if I can explain what I'm feeling. It's, I don't know. I mean, I, it's heartbreaking. It really is. But, you know, it, it's a means to an end. This is what we have to do. And then we can go forward. Well, it is. And Stacy, I walked up and, and I looked at you. I didn't really know what to say, honestly, <laughs> because it is a sad thing. And I, and I said, Stacy, you know, what are you feeling? How are you doing? And, and she said, I, I'm okay. How about you? And if you've ever met Stacy, I think you know that's really all about her personality. I mean, every time you ever came to Cecil's, you felt very welcomed, and everybody here was so nice, and, and it was such a great place to be, and it really is a shame. But, Stacey, I think most everybody would like to know what are the plans for the future. Well, right now, we're still just we're trying to get everything together. We're waiting on our insurance company. We're trying to figure out just where we stand now. I mean, it's, it's probably going to be a couple of weeks before we can make any kind of decision at all. Okay, so... Is there a chance There's for always a, a chance for something a triumphant new. Cecil's return? There's always a chance. Well, Greg Cecil taught me, I guess, 22 years ago when I came to work here. You never say never, but you also don't put all your eggs in one basket either. Yeah, well, a lot, you know, and, and look, those cliches carry a lot of weight. There's no doubt about it. Um, meanwhile, you're still doing some catering things on the side. Yeah, right um, we are. We had uh, a couple of things that we we did prom this past weekend. We're looking for uh, a temporary home right now just for our catering and stuff like that. So, Well, it sure appears to me, and I've been out of town a lot, but uh, and I was out of town when this happened, actually. Mm -hmm. I remember, in fact, I sent you a Facebook message at like 4 in the morning yeah. because I, my sleep schedule was off. But uh, it sure seems to me that the, the, the community has really put their arms around you. I mean, you've been doing it for so long. I think everybody right. sort of has come to you and said that if there's anything that they can do, it really is. That is, is the one uh silver lining in this whole thing is you know that you're loved. Right, right. Oh, and I do. There's there's no doubt in my mind. The LX City Fire Department, wonderful. Can't say enough about them. They checked on me the week after the fire. They were out here all week with me. Um, just, and you wouldn't believe, that's, that's why, people always ask me, why do you stay in LX City? I know now why. That this is the most loving community. Uh, there's not, I mean, my Facebook page is full. So if I hadn't had a chance to respond to you, thank you very much for thinking of me, and I'll let you know if I need anything. <laughs> well, and, and, and look, she will get to you, trust me, she will get oh, to yeah. you. But, you know, it, it just, every day do you go through just a, a rainbow of emotions. I mean, you, you wake up and you're like, I'm okay, and then it maybe hits you later. Are you, are you kind of really at peace with this now and, and maybe just already looking towards the future? You know, I cry over the silliest things. Yeah, my tennis shoes burned up. I cried over that. My cowboy boots burned up. I cried over that. All the stuff that we had, we had, um, we did Lions Club here every every other Tuesday and Thursday, every other Tuesday. We did Rotary Club here every Monday, and all their stuff was here. And that, that kind of tugs at my heart a lot. That There was a lot of stuff in here that didn't really belong to me that people left here. Um, we saved some stuff, though. Well, you know, in fact, I, I told you earlier, I said, hey, I left a cell phone here back about six years ago. Okay, we had melted. And you hadn't been able to find it. <laughs> hadn't been able to find it. But you did say you found some other interesting things. We did. We did. We were able to get out a couple of tables. Now, we don't know if they're still usable or not. Um, able to get out a couple of tables and a couple of pieces of stained glass. We did get a couple of those. But, you know, as far as everything else. Well, Stacy, we're going to let Justin walk around a little okay. bit, maybe get some other shots, and really do appreciate your being with us. And I know this has been such a hard time for you, but you, I mean, I can't believe it's, it. Her smile really is contagious. It's unbelievable that all this is going on, and it's such a big deal, and everybody's been hugging you and loving oh, on yeah. you, and you know it's sad, but and you're still smiling. Like, it's well, it's kind of like what I said. You have to take it day by day, one day at a time. We'll get there. We'll get there eventually. Well, let's all just hope that eventually there is a Cecil's too. There's a, we need a sequel. <laughs> we need a so sequel. Let, okay. let, let's see what we can do about we'll that. We'll keep that in mind. Well, Stacy, thanks so much for Thank being you. with us, and uh, we'll have you on again soon. And once okay. you get sequel, uh, the sequel, sequel going, we will. Uh, you'll come on and talk to us about it. Yep, I will. Sounds wonderful.